Greetings, friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sasevelich. Welcome. The question for you that I have is, is the end near for the United States of America and its British descendant allies of Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the United Kingdom? What about civilization as we know it, including the end of modern Europe? Well, friends, the answer to those two questions is positive. The answer is yes. Derin Gaub wrote the following, basically advocating political activism to change the direction of the totalitarian direction he sees in the United States of America moving forward. So on December the 2nd, he wrote America 2075. There was a small window of time between the years 2020 and 2024 to turn back the tide of tyranny washing over the shores of the Constitutional Republic that was once a free United States of America. But the few who saw it coming had no voice to warn people, and for many who finally did, it was too late. Those who knew what was happening spent weeks and months working on getting people organized and moving in ways that could help change the momentum back to liberty and away from tyranny. But there were too few. Too many passively watched as liberty continuously eroded before it finally washed away. Many held on their saving accounts until they were worthless, and their currency was only good for lighting fires to stay warm or to cook their scarce food supplies. America is different in 2075, this author writes. Those same people often wondered what it must have been like in the days when liberty ruled and these United States lived free and prosperous. They wondered why so many stood by and let tyranny take over. What was so important to cause them to value their comfort over their freedom? Why did they not love their families enough to stand up to tyranny rather than let it consume their children and grandchildren? Why are things so different now? Can those in America in the year 2075 understand liberty? The problem was more likely than not enough Americans in the years 2020 to 2024 understood liberty either. What will America look like in the year 2075? That answer will likely come in the next two or for two to four years as liberty-loving Americans awaken from their slumber and remember that our government is accountable to us. Or do we allow the tyrannical Marxist left to pull the levers of power in government in ways that destroy this nation instead? Was the question uh, and the question that this author asked. In, uh, on December 22, 2022, the author is Darren, Darren Gaub, uh, G-A-U-B. Well, what shall we say about these ideas? Well, friends, while America, meaning the USA in this case, will be different in, in 2075, it will not be the tyrannical dystopian state as Darren Gaub speculates. Furthermore, let me add that certain well-known religious leaders have dreamed of a European utopia and hoped such would come about by human effort. However, it is a tyr tyrannical dystopian beast power state that is prophesied to rise in, rise up in Europe from human efforts influenced by Satan. You can read about that in the book of Revelation chapters 13, 17 and 18. But that horrible, terrible beast power will not last. That said, America itself will have been conquered and be gone long before 2075. We can read that in Daniel 11.39. And the coming European Beast Project will be eliminated as prophesied in Daniel chapter 2, verse 43 to 45, and Revelation 17, verses 12 to 14. In the 2020s, we see an America that does not believe in the First Amendment to its constitution or many of the principles its founders sought for it to have. America does not truly believe in freedom of religion nor freedom of the press anymore. And more than that, much of its media, big technology and government leaders despise the word of God. That is the real reason the USA, its British descendant allies and Europe are going the way they are. The prophet Isaiah was inspired by God to write in chapter 30 verse 12, because you despise this word, and trust in oppression and perversity and rely on them. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you like a breach ready to fall, a bulge in a high, in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly in an assist instant. And he shall break it like the breaking of the potter's vessel, which is broken in pieces. He shall not spare. So there shall not be found among its fragments a shard to take fire from the hearth 
or to take water from the cistern. This is Isaiah 30, verse 12, 13, and 14. Political activism, friends, is not the solution to the problems facing the USA, nor Europe, nor the rest of the world. Um, many, mainly because biblical prophecies point to the end of the 6,000 years for humanity to rule itself, occurring around 2031, though it might be able to be a few years later than that, we must first see certain signs that Jesus pointed to in the Gospels to know for sure. In the Gospels, what is, what is among other things, what is mentioned? Consistent with scriptures in both Old and New Testaments, we can uh, see that a thousand years is as a day to God, Psalm 90, verse 4, and Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. And if, as generally understood in the Church of God, that Jesus was killed and resurrected no later than spring of 31 AD, Passover, and we can presume that the last days of a 7,000 prophetic week began after the middle day, day 4, then the last, four, the last days prior to the sabbatical time, which some would refer to as the millennial kingdom of God, would last 2,000 years. And if when Peter referred to being in the last days, Acts chapter 2, verse 17 and 18, and since Hebrews 1, verse 1 and 2 teaches that God in the, has in these last days spoken to us by His Son, the adding 2,000 years, dear friends, to a period of time leads to the end of the 6,000 years, no later than 2031, and it could be earlier than that. Since the Great Tribulation is expected to start three and a half years prior to that, as according to Revelation 12, 14 and 13, verse 5, subtracting three and one half years from the spring of 2031 would be late in 2027. Understand that the USA is prophesied to be taken over near the rise of the beast and start of the Great Tribulation, as we read in Daniel 11, verse 39, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, and Matthew 24, verse 21 and 22. Therefore, since the end of the two full USA presidential terms would end in January of 2029, these prophetic understandings point to the end of the USA prior to two full presidential terms. This is also consistent with certain Hindu and even Roman Catholic prophetic writings as well. Now let me add that world events have already aligned with and or confirmed at least 10 predictive statements that was made in a book written by Bob Thiel and it's called Baron Dash Harris Prophecies and Destruction. You can find that book online and you can download it for your reference. We are getting close, in other words, to the end of the 6,000 years. As for its British descendant allies, including the UK, Canada, Australia and New Zealand, they actually rely on protection from the USA to continue, and they will not have that when the USA is gone. The Anglo-American nations need repentance in order to delay what is coming. That's what we read in Daniel chapter 4 and verse 26. However, the Bible points to them not sufficiently doing so in Hosea chapter 11 verse 5. But the Assyrians shall be his king because they refused to repent. Friends, the USA will not last until 2075. That said, just because your nation will not repent, that does not mean that you cannot seek first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6.33 The end of the USA is coming soon, perhaps by 2028. In fact, there is a video on our uh, Bible News Prophecy uh, YouTube channel, and its entitled is The USA Prophesied to be Destroyed by 2028. As will turn out, whoever is alive in 2075 will be in the millennial kingdom of God. Jesus' kingdom will be a utopia, not a dystopia. And this is so important, so let me repeat it. Jesus' kingdom will be a utopia, not a dystopia. God inspired the prophet Isaiah to write in his book, in Isaiah chapter 11, and to portray and picture this wonderful utopian kingdom of God, millennial kingdom, in the future. So you can read it in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1 through 10. Also in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 7, says, of the increase of his government, in that wonderful millennial utopian government, of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David, then, over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Isaiah 9 verse 7. The book of Isaiah, you see, makes it clear that there will be a physical reign on earth 
with the Messiah in charge, and people will not be allowed to hurt others. So this is truly the real utopia. Related now to the passage in Elijah chapter 11, we can observe that this cannot be in heaven. There are no wicked human beings in heaven. Children are not being suckled and weaned in heaven, as it is in Isaiah 11, it is well described. And this cannot be in the earth, in the new earth, because there will be no wicked persons in the new earth, as uh, revealed to us in Revelation 21, verse 1 through 4. So these events must occur on this earth during the millennium. It cannot happen in heaven, nor in the new earth, nor during this age before the millennium begins. We need to understand that, dear friends. Who is going to tame wild carnivorous animals to eat straw like the ox before the 1000 years? This prophecy is for the millennium. Isaiah 35 contains other descriptions of the reign of Christ and his saints for the thousand years. In the preceding chapter, the destruction of this present world civilization is depicted as a bloody, bloody catastrophe. But thanks to God, the world won't long be in the throes of destruction. And uh, this is what the millennium will be like. What a wonderful world, and each of us can have a part in making the glorious age to come possible. This is the message of the gospel which Jesus preached, the kingdom of God. And Jesus Christ told us that we should repent and believe the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom of God. And uh, as a result, uh, and enduring to the end, we shall inherit the eternal life. There will be justice. It's described in Isaiah 28, verse 16 and 17. Also in Isaiah 32, verses 16 through 18. Also in Isaiah 42, verse 3 and 6. Also in Isaiah 51, verse 4, 4 to 5. Most of the scriptures that I've just, that I've just mentioned are prophesied, prophecies related to Jesus bringing justice. The prophet Micah was also inspired to write about that in um, Micah chapter 4, verse 1 through 4. Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above all the hills, and people shall flow to it, it says in Micah 4 verse 1. And then it continues, Many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He'll teach us his ways, and we shall seek and walk in his paths. For out of Zion the law shall go forth, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and rebuke strong nations afar off. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But everyone shall sit under his wine, and under his fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts have, has spoken. This is Micah chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Friends, both humans and animals, will do better during this time, and the New Testament confirms that the whole creation will benefit during this time. New Testament, that will be in Romans chapter 8, verse 19 through 21. It says, for the earnest expectation, verse 19, Romans 8, eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God, for the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. So the time of this glorious liberty of the children of God that the Apostle Paul speaks is speaking of happens at the return of Christ and the establishment of his kingdom. There is no other way. And this is a time when the people of God will be used to help restore a damaged planet. And details about that again in Isaiah 58 verse 12. Those from among you shall build the old waste places, you shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. So, friends, thus we see that the people of God will make it easier for people to dwell in cities and elsewhere, of course, during the time of restoration. So the time of restoration is ahead of us, also described in Isaiah 58, verse 13 and 14. For more details, you can go to our site, uh, to our website, Bible News Prophecy, Bible News Prophecy My name is Alexander Sasha Velich. You have been listening to the Bible News Prophecy program. Until next time, goodbye, friends.